Given how crazy this last year has been and the current pandemic, self-care to me as a leader is more important now than ever. I like to schedule what I call in art, allocated relaxing time. I really try to make sure that I invest in myself. And what I would like to give as a tip for everyone, and I hope that I am doing that myself, is to become a role model for others um, in my community, in my workspace, in my family, ensuring that we not just show that we practice self-care ourselves, but we welcome that in others as well. I didn't put any pressure on myself to um, learn a new skill or do something like that. I just did nothing. I chilled, I stared into nothingness. I gave myself the permission to do nothing. And self-care, I think, is subjective. It's like it says, self-care. So I think everybody should do what works for them. Some of the things I've focused on are I've got to know my own warning signs better. So I think a lot of it is to do with understanding yourself. So I know that if I start to lose my sense of humour, if I start to go quiet, because I'm usually quite chatty and really want to speak to people, those are the warning signs that I'm doing too much and I need to kind of regroup and refresh and re-energize. I had the opportunity and the privilege to work with Common Purpose founder, Julie Middleton, on her project, Women Emerging from Isolation. I had the joy to hear women globally sharing their own personal experiences and culture with us. This women made me realize there are so many factors out there which make us women uh, neglect our self-care. As the leader of myself, my biggest tip on self-care is to just take the first step. Self-care is something that's become really important to me over the last few years and especially in 2020. And for me, it starts with the basics. So have I had enough to eat during the day? Have I had enough to drink throughout the day? Have I stepped outside to breathe some fresh air throughout the day? Something else that I found important is to um, try not to compare myself to other women. So throughout 2020 especially, I've seen lots of posts of people saying they're gonna use their downtime or their extra time to learn new skills and do different courses. And I'm thinking, what downtime? <laughs> um, so I think it's important just to remember that everybody's situation is different and that sometimes just getting through the basics is enough. So things that I found that have really helped me are things like exercising every day, trying to go out for walks at lunchtime so that I'm not spending lots of time inside, uh, cuddles with my dog who's here, <laughs> um, but also you know recognising when things are tough and not being afraid to reach out to friends or colleagues for support. It took me a long time to figure out what my version of self-care was and wasn't what I thought it was going to be but I absolutely have to be outside at least once a day for a walk and a run. It makes the biggest difference to me. I don't listen to music, I don't listen to a podcast. I literally just am um, outside of all sounds, all the birds singing and just breathing fresh air and it truly makes the biggest difference to me mentally and physically. There are two things that matter most to me when it comes to self-care because as I think one of our colleagues said, it is about self, it's what works for oneself. And for me, cleaning and cooking which is why you know I'm in the kitchen. This is the place I'm very comfortable with in in my house. So I just try to make sure that if that matters to me, I make time to do them and do them really well, so that I feel good about it. And if I feel good about it, it has a huge impact on me feeling good about work, feeling good with my colleagues, feeling good with with my family. I'm not one of those people who've set goals for myself in the pandemic that life will change for me in a big way because I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to let myself do that. But just simple things which I hope go a long way in making us all feel good about ourselves, which really matters.